Alright guys, to be fair, on this video I want to show you how to tame a fur ounce. First thing to do is earn 4000 hexagons. You can do that by going to these terminals and completing the challenges. Next you'll need to interact with your robot, go to exchange hexagons, then buy two elements at 2000 each. You'll need this to feed your fur ox. You'll just need two elements to tame it, but another two elements every time you want to transform it. The best place to find Ferox is at the edge of a fog zone. You can try looking inside the fog, but it's very hard to see anything. The Ferox's are extremely hard to find. When they're in a the natural small form, every predator on the map can easily kill them with just a couple of hits. You can tame them on foot where you find them, but when they revert back to their small state, you run the risk of them getting killed again. When you've took 20, 30 minutes to an hour, 2 hours to find one, then you want to remove that possibility of it ever getting killed. So I would highly recommend you tame an RG to pick the fur ox up, and then a small box trap to drop it into. You find making it out of stone, and this one's a 2x2 foundation. You want a door to get in and out of, then the side's built with windows so you can see what's going on inside. Yes, you can tame a fur ox without these, but if you spend an hour looking for one, then something kills it. It would have been quicker and cheaper for you to tame an RG and build this trap, than look for another fur ox again. Plus you can use this equipment over and over again to tame many of them. I'm just going to build the walls too high at the moment, because I want to test if a fur ox can get over it. I think it will be able to, but I'm trying to find the minimum height of the walls, but they'll probably end up being 3 or 4 times high. With that built I can now fly off and cover more ground, and find the fur ox faster on my RG, as I don't have to fight any ground creatures. There's one, and that took me half an hour to find. Next pick it up with your bird, and carry it home to your box trap. As you can see, you hold the fur ox in your Argy's beak. Then just drop it in the box so it can't escape and it's nice and safe. Remember to put your bird on passive for when the fur ox becomes aggressive. And you've got to try and get in and out the door quickly, otherwise the fur ox can escape if you leave the door open too long. I'll just show you. He's small enough to get through, then you've got to pick him up and drop him inside again. He's safely back inside. Right, I've equipped element to my hotbar. Oops, should I make a break for it again? <laughs> Go up to it, and then click the corresponding key on the hotbar. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You'll start eating it, then I'll start hawking out and growing huge. Now let's see if we can jump over two tiles high. Yes he can. Now when he turns big and aggressive like this, you can grapple hook to a tree and stay out of his way. But as I have an RG, I'm just going to get on that and fly above him. He will attack anything on the ground, so you're safe up in the air. And after a short while, he'll tire himself out and then revert back to a small baby form. There you go, a poor little fella's knackered. All the fur oxes take two elements to tame them, so we're halfway through. You'll sleep for a little while, and then once he wakes up, pick him up with your RG again and drop him in a cage. Right, as you can escape from two tiles high, I'm going to make the walls three. But you could go four high to be safe. Right, I've built the walls three high. I'm tempted to go four, but I'm trying to do for the minimum. Let's feed him element again. Yeah, sometimes it works and sometimes he doesn't take it. Come here. Stop running off. There you go, it's eating it. I've got my bird just in case. Move away. Is he going to get out of that? Oh, it looks like he's stuck. Jumps a bit. I think three's okay. Maybe go four just to be on the safe side.
There we go, shrink him back down. Now that it's tame, I hope it stays that cute. And we have a little fluffy. You can pick him up and put him on your shoulder. Oh, isn't he cute? Bless him. Bless his little fluffiness. Right, let's test him out. You throw him on the ground. Let's just look at his action wheel. Feed him element. Oh, so it takes one for the first feed. He hulks out. You can get on him, ride him. Oh, it feels pretty powerful. C to throw rocks. You get a target reticle where it's about to throw it. Hold down C, you get a target reticle and then let go. Left button to swipe. Left mouse button. Then right mouse button to do like a smash, ground smash. And if you jump over and over again the jumps get bigger and bigger which is quite good so he's a fast mover as well he's awesome if you notice in the bottom middle transform lifetime when that runs out to convert back to his little fella and on the right is addiction when that gets to a hundred percent it costs five element to turn him let's test full damage doesn't look like you get any. You can jump on the side of cliffs then jump to the next place you look by a space so you can climb high mountains. I'll transform him again, throw him to the ground, feed him one element. Got to watch out how he becomes addicted. I think he turns on you then, he becomes rabid. Kills you. It looks like it needs two now to transform. He starts off with one element to turn him, and then two. So I wonder if he needs more element every time you turn him. Oh, look at a little fella. Gagging for element he is. Right, can I check his stats? Oh, that's how much health we have naturally. Four levels. Let's give him some help on there. As you can see, he's got terrible stats. That's why these are so hard to find because they get slaughtered by everything. All right. Okay. Here's some element for you. Oh yeah, I've some of that. Oh, you love it. So this is about the fourth, third, fourth time I've fed him. Still takes two element to transform. Is that tasty? Is that good for you? There's his stats now. Oh, you can level him up as a baby and as an adult. Why didn't I? Oh, it is. Slight delay. Look at his stats. Cool. He's a female. Dark. Let's change the time of day. There we go, that's much better. Right, let's see how far I can Just a target reticle. Let's see where he goes. Can you jump on a tree? Doesn't look like it. If you press the left mouse button, it looks like he whacks an attack ground. Food. Getting raw. I wonder if you can jump on the side of a Titan and whack it. Raw. Right, does right mouse button do anything? No. You can press. 
Oh, sliding down. Oh, so he slides down when you run out of stamina. Makes sense. Expecting stamina next. That's why I want to let me. Hold C and let go to throw snow. Use your stamina a lot every time you do an action on here, though. Right mouse button not doing anything. Control doesn't look like it does anything. To make sure you're on flat ground before your stamina runs out, otherwise you'll fall down. Right, let's try something at fighting. Fluffy mama first. Right, so actually, let's go for the back. Nice yeah. precious. It's like a Tasmanian devil. Let's press C. Grab that attention. There's a cooldown before you throw each rock. Give him loads of element. Let's see what happens when you get him addicted. There you go, fella. You have all that. Go and get it down, yeah. Oh, he's loving it. Is he getting redder? His skin. Oh. 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 He looks, he's looking a bit rabid. Go and have some more, mate. Have some more. That's it. Oh, he's getting vicious. It's 100%. What's he going to do? You can do anything? He's got weird glowy eyes now. So he's got to 100%. It right, doesn't look like it does anything. I'm kind of stuck inside it when I dismount. Rotating. Right, he's about to revert back to small form. Let's see what 100% addiction does. Oh, you little fluffy friend. How you doing, mate? You okay? Oh, five element requires. Come get down here. Yeah. So 
So the more addicted it is, the more it'll need to change. Give me a little friend. Find that tasty element. There we go. And he's back. Not feeling better? Okay guys, that's how you tame a fluffy fur ox. If you're new, please subscribe. And click all on bell notifications, as I'll be taming the rest of the creatures on Genesis, and you also get to see my live streams, as I'm looking forward to doing a Let's Play on Genesis. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.